Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. If you want to have the maximum gaming experience because Microsoft has issued a warning for gamers saying that in Windows 11, there are two things that might actually slow down your gaming experience. And I wouldn't be surprised that it also affects Windows 10, possibly. So, the two things that actually can slow down your gaming, and I'm going to show you where you can turn them off and explain the consequence of that. Uh, one has to do with security of your system. One has to do with, depending on what you want to do, virtualization. If you do not use virtualization, if you don't plan to use a Linux subsystem for uh, Windows, if you do not plan to install the Android subsystem for Windows, then it's not much of a problem, uh, except maybe for other software that you might want to install on your system uh, that need virtualization. But if you don't need virtualization, that is one of the things they tell you to turn off. What you could do is go into the search, just type control panel. In the control panel, you'll go into programs and features, and here, you will go on to the left side, turn Windows features on or off. And here, you'll go down to the um, virtual machine platform. Take this off. When you take this off, this, once you click OK, will have to restart your machine. And you will remove the virtual machine platform from Windows. But once again, this will prevent you from actually running any virtualized environment. So Android subsystem, Linux subsystem, and depending on what you do with your PC, other types of virtualization software that you might use. So that's one thing to note. The uh, second thing, which has to do with security, and in many cases it's off anyways because there are, in, in my case is true for that, some drivers that are incompatible with it is core isolation. If you go into your security app or if you go into simply settings and you go into the um, privacy and security, in the security app, your Windows security app, you have the possibility in the um, system, in the device security, to have core isolation details and then you'll look at the details for this and you'll see that memory integrity is one of them. In a core isolation memory integrity, if you have a standard system that works well with all the drivers, this might be on by default. It adds a security layer to Windows by of course preventing any code from being inserted into uh, high security processes. Now in if you're careful with what you do and in the reality of the world, if you don't, you know, if you're, you're intelligent when using your PC and careful and not clicking everything you see, this is not much of a problem to have it off because it does remove a layer of security, but it's not, you know, it's not like having zero antivirus, for example. It, you're still secure in some way in other ways. It's just that it's a layer that you just turned off. But these two together, virtualization environment and memory integrity off, will ensure that your gaming experience will be better. Uh, and this is Microsoft itself telling gamers, well, if you want to have Windows 11 perform the best on gaming, turn off these two things. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.